Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another new concept that is RxJS schedulers. So this is the last concept that is present in the RxJS. So let's try to learn what is this schedulers. Up to now, we have seen about the observables and all those things, how to execute and all those things we have seen, right? Sometimes what we need is you need more control on the observables, how to be get executed. We need, uh, so up to now, we have a control on the observables. So when we subscribe to that one, as soon as we subscribe, it is executing, right? So sometimes we need more control on that one. So to in order to get the more control on the observables, schedulers are, the, are those tools that give you more control over the observables. So this will give you the more control how to execute, when to execute the observables. Schedulers control when the observables start executing. So it will control the observables when it should start executing and when to deliver the values to the observables and also when it should start delivering the values. That means emitting the values to the not observable, sorry, here observers to the observers. And most of the observable creation functions I have shown you that uh, it will take the scheduler as the optional parameters. Up to now we have seen uh, from, from event off, these all observable creations we have seen, right? So these all observable functions will take the scheduler as the last optional parameter. So the last parameter will be in a scheduler. So it will be an optional parameter. So you, if you want to mention or so it will take the scheduler as the optional parameter. Normally what will they will be having is for them, so they have the default value as the scheduler. So they have some default value, the scheduler. If you want to change the behavior, you can mention the desired scheduler. If you want to mention change the behavior of the observable means, you can mention whatever the desired scheduler you want, you can mention it. Now in this, uh, what I can say is in our RxJS, there are different types of schedulers, those are supported. So some of them are, so let's try to see some of the schedulers that are most commonly used in the RxJS. So first one is the queue scheduler. What is this queue scheduler? This is the simplest of all the schedulers. This is the simplest for simplest of all the, and it is used to execute the observable synchronously. So this is the important point you need to understand. So the observable will execute synchronously. After completion of this observable only, then it will go to the next line. So this is the simplest, this is the common in all the schedulers. So it will execute the observable synchronously. The second one is an async scheduler. So if you try to see this async scheduler, this executes the observable asynchronously. So async as the name itself says that it will execute the observable asynchronously. Asynchronously means values will be emitted asynchronously and it will not block the JavaScript event loop. Okay, it will not uh, block the event loop. Previous queue scheduler will block the event loop, but here it will not block the event loop. So the values will be emitted asynchronously. So this will be saved in the task queue. What I what we can say is. So whenever the stack is empty, so event loop stack is empty, the event loop will push it into the executable stack. <clears throat> now, another one is the ASAP scheduler. So ASAP scheduler is nothing but this also executes the observable asynchronously only, but these are added in the micro task queue in the JavaScript event loop, given priority to the than the async scheduler. So first what you will be doing is queue scheduler will execute it async synchronously. So when this one is completed, then only it will go into the executing execution context. Next one will be having so whatever the things are available in the task queue. So these are will be saved in the async schedulers will be saved in the task queue. Then task queue will be going. So before the task queue, it will check in the micro task queue. So JavaScript will check in the micro task queue whether any any uh, tasks are remaining or not. So these ASAP schedulers will be saved in the micro task queue micro task queue rather than the task queue. So <laughs> execution context uh, event loop will take uh, this uh, micro task queue as the priority it will execute first the micro whatever the items present in the micro task queue then only it will execute the afterwards it will execute the items in the task queue so that means queue scheduler then asap asap scheduler queue uh, then afterwards only async scheduler will be executed so asap uh, scheduler will be given priority is in the asynchronous way afterwards only async scheduler will be executed so these are the most commonly used schedulers in the RxJS. Let's try to see the schedulers concept. If you try to see here, so here you'll be able to see the scheduler. If I open this one, what is a scheduler? Scheduler controls when a subscription starts. So it will it will control the subscription when it when the observable has to start and when notifications you need to be delivered. So now normally if you try to see come down, these are all normal like we can say. 
So here are the scheduler types. First default one is a null. So if it doesn't pass anything, means it uh, normally synchronizes it to execute. Queue scheduler is also one and the same only. It in the current frame it will run. And another one you are having the SAP scheduler. So after completion of the queue scheduler, SAP scheduler will be checked. So SAP, SAP scheduler will be checked. Why? Because these are present in the micro task queue. So these micro task queue will be executed. Then afterwards, what we can say is async scheduler. So these async scheduler will be executed. So another one where we are having animation free frame scheduler. This one will be scheduler will be executed whenever we are uh, scrolling the browser. So where to uh, to have the sm smooth browser animations, we will be using this animation frame scheduler. So these are the schedulers. So these are normal operators. What we can say is these are the operators which will take the schedulers as the optional parameter. So you what you can mention is you can mention. What, what is the type of scheduler you want to execute, whether it is a queue scheduler or a SAP or a sync, whatever the thing you want to mention, you can mention it as the end of the operator, this one. So this is all about the <coughs> scheduler. So the, here they are showing some, some, what I can say, some operators which accepts the schedulers. If you try to see here, uh, what I can say is combine latest or anything or otherwise from, from is nothing but we know, right? So it will generate the, let's go to the, uh, operators and here if you try to search for this from sorry we are having so many from's right so from if you if you open this one so you will having last you will be having optional parameter that is scheduler so this is the scheduler so you can mention whether it, it could be async scheduler queue scheduler sap scheduler animation frame scheduler whatever the scheduler you want you can mention the scheduler okay so what the scheduler will do so if i try to add this one as a queue scheduler or async scheduler whatever the scheduler if i try to do what it will try to do. So I will show you the demonstration. So if you add a scheduler for the observable, what will happen? I will show you the demonstration in the next video. So we will do a sample demo on that one. So this is uh, uh, this is all about the scheduler. Hope you understood about the scheduler. Nothing, uh, the scheduler is a simple concept only. So what you can is, so you are controlling the execution of the observable. That's it. So observable will execute. So when it has to execute, you are controlling using the scheduler. So you are scheduling. So when it has to execute, whether it has to execute synchronously, that means immediately or SAP scheduler means after some time you want to execute. So whenever you want to execute, so you are maintaining the <coughs> record for that one. So in order to deliver the notifications also, so notifications means nothing but the values in order to emit the values, observe when, he, when it has to develop, uh, when it has to deliver. So these are all the things we will be, we'll be using, uh, we will be controlling using the scheduler. This is all about the scheduler. Hope you understood about the scheduler. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.